two weeks ago, Japan became the first country in the world to approve a new type of self-amplifying mRNA vaccine, otherwise known as an SA mRNA vaccine. Specifically, a company called Meiji Seika Pharma that's based out in Tokyo, they released a statement on November the 28th announcing the fact that they've been given official government approval to manufacture and market a Replicon vaccine, which is the first ever to use self-amplifying mRNA technology. Here is part of what their statement said, quote, Meiji Holdings announces that its subsidiary, Meiji Seika Pharma, has received approval for the manufacturing and marketing of Kastevi for muscular injection, a self-amplifying mRNA vaccine against COVID-19 from the Ministry of Health, Labor, and Welfare in Japan. Kastevi is indicated for prevention of COVID-19 by primary immunization, two doses, and booster immunization in adults. This is the world's first approved Replicon vaccine applying self-amplifying mRNA technology. Now, obviously, I'm sure that almost everyone watching this video right now has the very same question in their mind. What in the world is a self-amplifying mRNA vaccine? Well, to answer that question, let's compare this new vaccine to the quote-unquote normal mRNA vaccines, like the ones from Pfizer and Moderna. Here's how the normal mRNA vaccines work. Whether it's Pfizer or Moderna, this is the basic outline. You have a strand of modified mRNA, which contains in it a sequence for making the spike protein of the SARS-CoV-2 virus. That's the part in red. And the strand of RNA is protected by a layer of lipid nanoparticles, which dissolves in the process of getting the RNA strand into the body's cells. Then once the RNA strand is delivered into the human cell, the cell's machinery takes it. It manufactures the spike protein that's encoded in the RNA, and that spike protein then leads ultimately to the immune response. Now, of course, that's an extremely simplified version of how that process works, but that is generally how it works. That is how the typical mRNA vaccines that have been on the market for the past three years now, that's how they operate. However, these new self-amplifying mRNA vaccines, they take this process to another level by integrating the genes that are needed to replicate the RNA. Here's how that looks. The self-amplifying RNA vaccine contains two separate genes. First, there's the gene for the spike protein, that's the part in red, but then also, secondly, it contains the gene for a protein called replicase, which is what allows the RNA to self-replicate. That's the part in yellow. And so the way it works is that once this vaccine enters the human cell, the gene that's marked in yellow gets encoded by the body's cell into the protein called replicase. And that protein then allows for the vaccine's RNA to be copied over and over and over again. And as you can see, using this self-amplifying method, the end effect is that the cell now has significantly more of this RNA inside of it. This then leads to significantly more production of the spike protein, and then subsequently, in theory, more antibodies. In summary, here is how an article over in Nature magazine described the difference between the conventional mRNA vaccine and this new SA mRNA vaccine. Quote, Conventional mRNA-based COVID shots consist mainly of the genetic instructions for a viral protein that are surrounded by regulatory sequences. A cell's machinery produces the protein for as long as these instructions persist, and that protein, known as an antigen, stimulates an immune response. By contrast, SARNA jabs go a step further by integrating the genes needed for the replication and synthesis of the antigen encoding RNA, effectively establishing a biological printing press for fabricating the vaccine inside cells. Now, in terms of the supposed benefits of using this new self-amplification technology, the researchers who developed it, they say that the main benefit is the fact that because the RNA portion of the vaccine copies itself over and over and over again, well, you don't need to inject as much RNA into a person's arm. And therefore, at least in theory, there should be fewer side effects. And indeed, the amount of substance injected into a person's arm is significantly less with this new method. For instance, in a recent study of the SA mRNA vaccine, each trial participant was given two doses, and each dose contained only five micrograms of RNA. You compare that to the Pfizer shot, which contains 30 micrograms per shot, and the Moderna shot, which contains 100 micrograms per shot. And so it's true. In terms of raw payload, the SA mRNA vaccine delivers significantly less RNA. In fact, here's how the rationale of the researchers behind this new vaccine was laid out in the pages of a Nature magazine article. Quote, People often think that the SA RNA vaccine platform is simply a variation on conventional mRNA shots. But in practice, it's really not. SARNA is a totally different beast. Because of its virus-like nature, SARNA interacts with the immune system in distinctive ways that could prove beneficial across a range of disease scenarios. When it comes to preventing infections, for instance, its self-amplifying capabilities could enable the use of lower vaccine doses. The COVID self-amplifying RNA vaccine requires one-tenth to one-sixth as much vaccine per person as other RNA-based COVID-19 booster jabs. 
reducing the amount of vaccine administered in each injection should result in lower production costs. And although the side effect profile of the COVID SA mRNA vaccine seems comparable to that of a conventional mRNA shot, it is conceivable that the benefits of the platform's smaller doses will help to mitigate the severity of aches, fevers, chills, and other loathsome symptoms collectively known as reactogenicity. And so these researchers are claiming that by injecting less RNA into the arm, the person might, in theory, experience less side effect reactions. That's one supposed benefit. The second benefit that they claim this new vaccine to have is the fact that the self-amplifying method triggers higher levels of antibodies, which might actually circulate in the body for a longer period of time. Quote, when used as a booster in clinical testing, the newly authorized vaccine triggered higher levels of virus-fighting antibodies that circulated the body for longer than did a standard mRNA COVID-19 vaccine. Although, to be frank with you, reading through how this new technology works, well, there is one thing that I just do not understand. Because the claim here is that the benefits of this new SA mRNA vaccine is that, for one, less RNA has to be injected into the person, and therefore there will be less overall side effects, and that, secondly, more spike proteins will be encoded, leading to bigger and longer protection. However, over the last several years, I've read multiple studies, including this one here that's found on the American Heart Association's website, as well as this other one here found on the NIH website, showing that the spike protein is linked to many different problems, such as injury to the heart muscle, brain fog, general inflammation, among many, many other things. And so after reading through how this new technology works, I'm personally a little unclear as to how they can claim that one benefit is less side effects, but at the same time, another benefit is the fact that it boosts the amount of spike protein in the body. I can't understand how those two work together. If anyone watching this is more dialed into the science, consider leaving a comment below. I'm sure that many people watching this episode will benefit greatly from your understanding. However, setting that part aside and getting back to what's happening over in Japan, well, this new technology has been given approval for manufacturing and marketing within the country for the treatment of COVID-19. Quote, Costave is a vaccine against COVID-19 applying self-amplifying mRNA technology developed by Arcturus Therapeutics Incorporated, which is designed to self-amplify ones delivered into the cells so that it generates a strong immune response and the potential for extended duration of protection while using lower doses of mRNA compared to the existing mRNA vaccines. Since its self-amplification is limited to over time, no safety issues have been identified. Meiji Seika Pharma is currently preparing for and conducting clinical trials of Replicon mRNA vaccines against novel variants of COVID-19 virus and intends to commercialize them in 2024. And so, if you happen to be in the market for trying a brand new vaccine, well, the only thing between you and this new SA mRNA shot is a plane ticket to Japan. If you'd like to read more about how this new self-amplification technology works, as well as this entire statement from the company over in Japan, I'll throw all my research notes down into the description box below if you happen to be the type of person that likes to dig into the wheat. And all I ask in return is that as you're making your way down there to the description box, take a super short detour to smash those like and subscribe buttons. Smashing that like button will ensure that this video reaches ever more people via the YouTube algorithm, while smashing that subscribe button will ensure that every time we publish a new episode, it hits your news feed, well, every time we publish it. And now, let me quickly introduce today's sponsor by showing you this little piece of money. Or rather, I should say that this is fake money being printed into oblivion by those geniuses over in Washington, D.C. And so before they completely obliterate your life savings, what I recommend you do is to convert that fake money into real money, which is physical gold and silver. And the best company to use is the sponsor of today's episode, American Hartford Gold who also happens to be my own personal gold and silver bullion dealer. They have thousands of other five-star ratings across the country. They have an A-plus rating with the Better Business Bureau. They ship quickly, directly to your doorstep. Their product listings are awesome. They're stacked with great options of gold and silver bullion and coins, and they have amazing customer service. When you pick up the phone and call them, you feel good knowing you support a company that supports the truth getting out into the wider American audience. And so calling them up is a no-brainer. But best of all, if you tell them that Roman sent you, they will throw in up to $5,000 worth of free silver with your first purchase. It's 866-242-2352, or you can simply text the word Roman, R-O-M-A-N, Roman, to 65532. Of course, all their details will be down in the description box below. And now let's head on back to the studio. And now lastly, if you're watching this episode and you're thinking to yourself, man, I love this type of content. I just wish Roman will publish more episodes every single week. Well, you're in luck because I do. Over at Epic TV, our awesome no censorship video platform, I publish anywhere between one to three exclusive episodes of Facts Matter every single week, usually on topics that are, quite frankly, too spicy for here on YouTube. And so if you'd like access to those extra episodes every single week, including a huge backlog from the last three years, you can find it all over on the website. And now's a great time to check it out because the Epic Times has <laughs> dropped its best sale ever. 
It's six months for just a single dollar. It's a trial subscription. You can try the Epic Science for six months for just a single dollar. I mean, this is really the type of subscription that we don't make any money on. The idea is just to get you in the door, have you try the content, fall in love with the content, and hopefully be a subscriber for a long, long, long time to come. You've, you can, of course, cancel any time. No obligation to stay. But, well, something tells me that you won't cancel. Something tells me that you'll fall in love with the content and be a subscriber for a long, long time to come indeed. And so again, that link is right there at the top of the description box below. You can just click on it. It'll take you to the sale page where you can try the Epic Times for six full months for just a single dollar. Again, that link is right there at the top of the description box below. Hope you click on it and hope that you join us over on the Epic Times website. And then until next time, I'm your host, Roman from the Epic Times. Stay informed. Most importantly, stay free. Mm -hmm.